Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Sims 4 The Asylum Challenge. We are pretty much picking up right where we left off. Enid is sleeping, but everybody in the, uh, in the house seems to be awake. Daryl is playing the guitar. Roman is getting ready to pass out on the couch. Aaliyah and Dawn are hanging out in the kitchen, and Raiden is, you know, disgusted that the hot coffee pot is broken yet again. So while Enid is sleeping, and so is Starry in the corner, and Cleophus over here in this bedroom, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, some of the changes we are going to be making to the gameplay. So I've decided, you know, we can only have five skill building items in the asylum. So what I've decided is since they don't even ever touch the uh, treadmill over here, we're going to get rid of that and we're going to replace it with a bar. And I may or may not, I haven't quite decided yet, um, if we're going to get rid of the easel because, again, nobody has even touched it but we're gonna start by getting rid of the treadmill because like I said nobody even touches it there is absolutely no point to having it so since no one's using it and it's just been sitting over here for the last I don't know eight nine episodes who knows we're just gonna go ahead and delete it and we're gonna replace it with a bar so we'll do that I don't know. I don't think we can get seating for it, though, because I guess this would count as seating. I guess I could take some tables, some chairs away from the dining room. Sure, why not? Let's just see what happens. So we'll go with, you know, some cheap seating. So we'll do this. And then, you know, just because I don't want to ruffle any feathers, we'll take away a chair here. And we'll take away a chair here. Yeah, so now it's a party. We've got the bar over here with some bar stools. We got the music. Yeah, we made a change to the club rules. I decided to change out fighting for drink mixing so they can mix some drinks at the bar and get, uh, you know, some ju juiced up. Let's see what happens when they're juiced up. But I do have a club gathering going right now. So people are fixing things and cleaning up after themselves for the most part. While Enid is sleeping. She's hungry. But we're going to let her sleep a little bit more. Everybody else is just, you know... Daryl's trying to talk to Roman, but Roman's sound asleep on the couch. Dawn's getting attacked by bees, although she seems to, like, not even notice them anymore. No, I'm wrong. There she goes. Alright, so they gotta go to work in an hour. And I'm also gonna point out that our dead cow plant is now growing again. I did not know they could do that. So, like I said before, I don't know if it's a get glitch in the game, but that's, yeah, what's happening. Oh god, Daryl's cooking. Please don't set the kitchen on fire again like you did last time, Daryl. Please. I mean, I do believe there is food in the fridge. Not much. Six servings of mac and cheese. I mean, I don't know. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to point out something very, very strange about what Roman is doing right now. Now we're waiting for Enid to come downstairs because Deacon is here to visit. And <laughs> Roman is messing around with the cow plant that's invisible. It's, it's, it's odd. So I hope the invisible cow plant doesn't eat him. Okay, it didn't eat him. But that was very, very strange. Like, see? It says feed or eat cake. <laughs> so we're going to feed this little guy down here because 
don't know what in the world is going on with the cow plants. It is so bizarre. So, Enid's gonna come say hi to Deacon, who is here to visit from beyond the grave. And see, she's saying she can't feed him. It is so bizarre what is going on. Look at this. Look, there's the drool. What's the dip? Okay, well, we're going to spend some time with Deacon since he is here visiting and we don't know when he'll come back so we're gonna reveal a deep secret Parsikong. <laughs> we could woohoo let's woohoo We'll go in the closet, <laughs> since we can't use a bed. And the shower we might get walked in on. He's like, yeah, I'll go woohoo in a closet with you. Oh, we'll just have to wait. <laughs> As Daryl waits on the other side. He's like, huh? What's that noise? <laughs> Daryl doesn't care. Does anybody else? Nah, nobody else seems to be noticing. At all. Well, that... Jeez. Well, that took care of the fun need. Just don't haunt our stuff Excellent and break it, okay? So now we're gonna go take a shower. You don't destroy anything. I'm really scared now because I can't see the cow plant and and it really scares me that it's gonna eat somebody. I'm really, really scared now that this cow plant is gonna eat somebody. <laughs> because I don't know when it's hungry. Go on, Cleophus. He's like, this place sucks so bad. I gotta start drinking just to survive. Uh. <laughs> He's like, I don't care about the coffee anymore. We're doing mixed drinks. Ew. Down goes Roman. Feed the cow plant, because we don't really know if it's hungry, because we can't see it. But apparently it's there. I wonder if I go into build mode and move it. And Cleophus is just over here, just mixing drinks. 
He's just not even stopping. He's just gonna keep mixing drinks. I don't know if he's drinking them or serving them, but <laughs> he's just <sighs> mixing it up. Night, Daryl. Uh-oh. Are you getting sick, Cleophus? It's like I might be. I don't know. I'm really dirty, though. I really need a shower. Does that not taste good? Alright, I'm gonna go into build mode and see if I can move this cow plant. And see if it shows back up. Because I, I don't know where it is. Yeah, there he is. So I just had to move him. All right, well, he's gonna be our front yard cow plant. He's like, hmm, I can see things out here. There's not a big wall around me. A flush. Yeah. <laughs> ah. yeah, yeah, Aaliyah, be careful. <laughs> She's yelling at the cow plant, like, you don't bite, no bite. <sighs> Shit. No, Cleophus. No. No. Don't eat that cake. Do not eat that cake. Cleophus. No, no. Don't eat it. Don't you dare. Okay, good. He's gonna go take a shower. See? They are all very, very interested in the cow plant. But the dangerous part about that is... If they're hungry, which I'm trying to keep them from being hungry... They'll try to eat the cake and then the cow plant will eat them. And it's like, uh -uh. Legenzo. <laughs> oh, watch the noise. So we're gonna have her feed him, play with him, pet him. So so. Oh, Nibor, what's the biz? What's the biz? Ha! Ah, you bond. Romance festival is in town. Yeah. Alright, so we're at the romance festival. Everybody else is going to do what they're going to do, and we are going to do what we are going to do, which is, you know, harvest everything. <laughs> so we're going to harvest all. It doesn't look like there's very much here at all. I mean, it's not that we really need the flowers. It's not really about that. It's just... Why not? It's a change of scenery. <laughs> I mean, there's... There's some... Something, something going on around here. I'm loving the outfits. They're just... <laughs> fabulous. I mean, it's not like the... Are the jumpsuits that we're wearing. Oh, look. Daryl's meeting somebody. She's saying, Enid says, am I going to marry Deacon even though he's a ghost and he's gone? Your true love is closer than you think is her romantic destiny. Is it this guy? <laughs> Everybody over here is just like, this is stupid. <laughs> Poor Cleophus, he's like, he's absolutely disgusted. He's like, ugh, romance. <laughs> Cleophus, why don't you tell us about it a little bit? <laughs> Cleophus. 
CFS apparently hates the romance festival. <laughs> and Dawn and Aaliyah are like, why did she drag us here? Raiden, did you have something to do with this? He's like, nah, man, I don't, I have no idea what Enid's thinking this time. I, I, I'm just as confused as you are. And then we got Starry over here in the <laughs> karaoke bar. Just like, what is going on? This is so stupid. And then we've got Roman over here. Who is, I, I don't, is he getting flirty with a toilet? <laughs> He's just like, yeah, man. I'm just going with the flow. Yeah, Roman's just like, hmm, no bartender? That's fine. I'll just make it myself. <laughs> He's like, I don't care. Well, the romance festival was boring, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter. Cleophus is here, obviously, because he doesn't work. And, um, Roman didn't bother going to work. So, uh, Roman is being abducted by aliens. Again. Again. Bye, Roman. We'll see you in a little while. See? That's what happens when you don't go to work. You get abducted by aliens. I don't know if he's gonna come back this time. So some alien aboard some ship has a thing for Roman. And what's Cleophus doing? Is he trolling to forums? I think he is. Alright. They brought Roman back. He's okay. I don't know. He's looking at himself like, Ugh. What just happened to me? He seems okay. I don't know. He's hungry. Looks like Roman got himself some pizza rolls. Enid is in a really good mood from wearing warm clothing. You gonna handle that, Roman? Thank you. We're not even in a clo- Oh, you're gonna get shocked spraying that while it's broken. He's going out to... Okay, don't... Okay. Calpan's not hungry, so we should be okay. So he's playing with the cow plant. Enid's gonna eat some tacos. I will use the magic hand to put this away. Hey, Raiden, your mothership was here earlier. I think maybe they were looking for you and not for Daryl and not for Roman. He's like, I don't know. I give up. Alright, so Ina has reached level 9. We have five plants evolved to excellent quality, so we are getting there. Slowly but surely, this last step seems to be taking a very, very long time. 
It is Sunday, which is outing day in the asylum, and today I have brought the crew over to the Stardust Roller Rink. And before you say anything, yeah, we went out to the Romance Festival, but that doesn't count. And it is late in the day, and nobody has rested. Uh, looks like everybody showered, though, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> but so I brought everybody out here to the Stardust Roller Rink where they can have a little bit of physical fun and get some physical fitness by uh, skating around here and if they're not in the mood to do that they can always go upstairs to the lounge where they can make themselves food pop some popcorn or order drinks or practice any of the skills they like upstairs but for now we're going roller skating <laughs> and let's hope nobody breaks a neck or a leg or you know whatever <laughs> a butt <laughs> here goes Cleophis but he's laughing about it <laughs> I wish we had one of these at the asylum <laughs> they seem to be doing okay. All gotta start somewhere, right? <laughs> Doesn't look like everybody's joining in the fun, though. We've got, um, Dawn still outside. Aaliyah and Starry are over here having a little chat. And Raiden's going upstairs to pass out. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Looks like the men in the asylum, they are just up for whatever can be thrown their way. <laughs> oh, Starry's got some skills! Look at her go! Oh, she lost it. She had some skills for a minute there, though. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm gonna leave this episode here. If you want to see more, please give this video a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button, turn on the notifications, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys! <laughs>